Hey, fifth grade, it's Mrs. Pritchard. Um, I am going to just kind of help you with the number 15 on your homework because it's a little hard. It's a complex figure and we haven't really gone over a ton about breaking those apart. So I thought I'd give you a little bit of help um, so you don't get really frustrated on it. But remember, Miss Allie did go over these types of problems on Tuesday. So I will be putting that video attached to this homework. And also the ones above, you can be watching my video to help with the code. But this is gonna be really important, okay? So remember, I am also attaching a copy of the customer units of length to help with this problem. Okay, so the first thing, if I'm looking at number 15, okay, perimeter, remember, means distance around. Um, before I even worry about breaking that up, I notice that some are in yards, some are in feet, and some are in inches. So what's probably the first step I should probably do? Yeah, let's at least make them all into yards first, okay? So I'm just going to kind of make my screen just a little bit bigger here, okay? And I already wrote down the ones that we need to convert, okay? So I'm going to kind of hold that up. So let's kind of focus on these. I always do that. Okay, let's look at this one because this one's kind of the easiest one. If I go back and look at my chart here, so let's look at this. And it says 36 inches would be how many um, yards? So if I look at this, wow, if I look right here, it literally says there's 36 inches in one yard. So I don't really need to do any coding because it tells me right there, okay, that 36 inches is equal to one yard. Okay, not too bad. All right, now this one we do have to do a little coding. So I know that B, think of your foot, is smaller than a yard. A yard is like the length of your desk. So if I'm coding, I'm going smaller to larger, right? Which means it's not going to take as many. So I would be divided. Okay, now I'm going to be writing my expression. So nine. Divide it by, so I'm going to need to look at my chart. You guys, a lot of these are going to be mental math. So let's go back and see, well, how many feet are in one yard? So if I look at this, oh, I love that. So right here I see there's three feet in one yard. Three feet in one yard. So I'm going to go back. So then I know I'm going to be dividing nine by three, which is a pretty easy fact. So nine divided by three, fifth grade is three, good. Okay, not too bad. Okay, in this one, we're still going feet to yards and we just did all that coding. So that's gonna be quick, feet to yards, smaller to larger, which was divide. I'm writing my expression. And what did we just say? How many feet are in one yard? Three. Kind of that magic number. And again, very easy. 12 divided by 3 is 4. Good. Okay, so I'm going to kind of circle those. We got 4, 3, and 1. So now all of our units are in yards. Okay? So I'll kind of hold on to this so that we have that. Now, I'm going to go back to our complex figure because here's the thing. We're going to have to start to break it apart. Okay. So please bear with me because I told you the marker or pen on this thing is a little bit hard. So the first thing I always do is let's decide how we want to break it up before we start kind of crossing out units. So I see when I look at this, I kind of see a rectangle. And so I think you could split it this way, but I think the easier way we're going to do is boop, split it right there. So then it's like, I can kind of see that there's a rectangle right there. So let's kind of focus, I'm gonna make this one. Let's kind of focus on this rectangle first. So if I know this is one yard, what is this little thing gonna be right here? Right? That's gonna kind of be one yard. So I'm gonna put a little one there because opposite sides are congruent. Okay. Now on the other ones, what we probably need to do is kind of 
put what we did. So the 12 feet, this entire side, we converted the 12 feet. If I look back at my chart, we did 12 divided by three and that gave us four. Okay. Sorry, my numbers are not that good. That is a four. Okay, now this one's a little tricky. The nine feet, when I look, we said was, was equal to three yards. Now three yards would be from here all the way to there. But we just said that this little chunk is one. So what do you think I could do if this entire thing was three yards and we already have one yard there? What is this little part going to be? Yeah, I could do three, the three yards minus that little one chunk. So that would be two. So I'm going to cross this out, which means this right here would be two. And you guys, what do I get when I do two plus one? Yes, I get that three. I get that entire side. Okay, and then this one was really nice. What did we say 36 inches is equal to? Yeah, exactly one yard. Okay, you guys, we're rocking it. We have everything except this little side right here. So how could I figure that out? Look at the shapes that you have. Yeah, so if I look, this right here is a rectangle. So if this side is one, this would be one, but I don't really need to know that because that's in the inside and I'm doing perimeter. But if this side is two, what is this side gonna be? Yeah, that's gonna be two. Oh my gosh, we're doing so well. Oh no, I see one more side that we need to do. So we have everything except now from here to here. How are we gonna figure that out? Because I know from here to here, that whole side was four. But I just need this side. Hmm, what, what did we just say this little chunk was? If I look across, oh, that's one yard. So four, which was this entire side, minus that little chunk, which was one, what's four minus one? Three. So that means you guys just figured out what that side is. So a lot of complex figures are kind of like puzzles. They're hard. You kind of have to dissect them and do a little subtracting of the sides, okay? So now we have all the sides. Everything's in yards, so we just need to add it up. So I have one plus two is three plus three is six plus one is seven, plus four is 11. And then technically we kind of have a one here, which would be 12 and then two would be 14. So if I look at the perimeter of this one, this would be 14 yards for the entire distance around. It is just beautiful. Okay, and that one I know, I'm not gonna lie, even for me it was a little bit a little bit hard, but the other ones that you work on should not be that hard. So this one, you just have to do the distance around, but remember they want it in yards. So you're gonna have to convert that 15 feet, but then you'll you'll know the sides. When you go up here, remember they want these ones in feet. So you're going to have to convert that 36 inches, but then you should know those other sides because opposite sides are the same in a rectangle. Then on 14, you're missing this side, but remember, again, this is a rectangle. So whatever this side is, that side is going to be the same. But you guys really need to look at, again, really look at what they want it in. So the first two they want in feet. So you're going to have to do your conversions first. And then those last two they want in yards. Okay. So again, you absolutely have to have your chart to help you. And I know a lot of you are getting so good. You're kind of memorizing those. Okay. So I hope that helped. If you need any extra help, remember my office hours are going to be today from 1.30 to 2.00.
you just link on our schedule and then I can go over any problems that you had on your math or if you have any quick ELA questions. Okay. All right. So good job. And I look forward to seeing some of you soon.